Hey, I'm Julie Bayfan Balzer, and I'm an artist, and I make lots of videos about all kinds of art and craft techniques because I like to mix the two together. So in this video today, I'm working in my art journal, and I came across this black page. I work in a junk journal, so it's kind of partially finished in places, which is always a fun thing, but I thought I would work on a mandala. Now the design, as you can see, works out from the center and then everything is, let's say, similar, not exactly the same as you work out into a uh, design. I'm using a Posca marker. This is a paint marker. It works the same way as a lot of other paint markers. You know, you shake it, you hear the little ball bearing inside, it helps to mix the paint. You press down on the tip to make sure the ink is flowing. And you might have to do that a couple of times as you work. So again, I'm trying to keep things similar, you know, as I work around, but understanding that slight variations happen and that's part of the charm. Um, so now I'm about to run into a kind of a design decision. I'm trying to figure out whether the butterfly should be fully incorporated in there. I just decided that it should into the whole piece. By the way, you may notice the sort of purple papers on either side and I put them there to protect the pages underneath for when I run off the edges which you can see I'm doing lots and lots and lots with my marker and that just keeps everything kind of neat and clean and when I remove the papers I can really get a better sense of what the page looks like I decided that it needed more so I've switched down now to a jelly roll by Sakura um, so that it has a much smaller tip size and this adds some nice variety to the piece so that I'm not just using the same big monolithic line. I mean, even when you're doodling and just playing around and relaxing, I think you still want to think about all those important art principles and design principles so that your work still, you know, looks great. And variety is one of the more important ones to make your work interesting, at least in my opinion it is. So here I'm just working my way around to find ways to make this a little more interesting, fill in the spaces a little bit, give the whole thing a little more dimension and visual texture, making sure to hit up that butterfly too. And here the papers are removed and you can see this beautiful mandala doodle sitting in my art journal. I love the uneven pages. That was easy peasy. So if you enjoyed this, uh, I hope you'll become a monthly member over on my classroom site. Members have access to the real time version of this. That's at balzerdesigns.com. I'd love to see you. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much.